Hi everyone, I'm Amy. Today's workout is gonna be a full body isometric slow bar workout. All you will need is a set of three pound dumbbells or five pound dumbbells, two pound dumbbells, whatever you choose. And if you don't have dumbbells, you can use your body weight or bottles of water. And also you will need something to use as a guide. And I'm using my stool. Remember to stretch a little bit before and after all my videos. Also, if you have not subscribed and you like this video, please, please do so. That we, I would love that. And also the little notification bell. If you click on that, you will get notified when I post, which is almost daily. We're going to start with our dumbbells. And like I said, I'm, I always pretty much use three pound dumbbells when I'm doing bar work. We're going to start with big circles. Our thumbs are up on our weights. We're just going to warm up our upper body. And everything today is going to be done very, very slow and little isometric movements. Engaging in the core, focusing on your breath. Two more. Okay, we're gonna open up our shoulder or warm up our shoulders. Flex feet, bent knees. So alternating your legs. Four more. Wide legs, toes angled out. We're gonna focus first on biceps. Before we even lift our weights, have tightness into your arms. Flex those arms. Bend elbows, uphold. Here is the isometric work and here is the little movement. So we're going to go up for 30. One, two, three. Pause on the up oh so slightly. There's 10. There's 20, 10 more. Neutral neck. And 30 L-shaped arms. We're gonna work our shoulders, lift them up, uphold. Act like there's a string on your the bend of your arm, lifting up your elbows. Core is tight. You have a slight bend also on both of your knees. From here, we're gonna do 20. There's one. Slow. There's five. There's 10. Fifteen. And 20 thumbs up on your weights. We're going to work the front of our shoulders. You're going to be right here like your arms are in a V. Uphold, slight bend in both of your elbows. You're also working your biceps. From here, 30. There's one. There's 10. And 20, 10 more. Neutral neck. And 30 shoulder presses. We're gonna start with right arm is gonna be doing the work. Left arm is gonna be staying still, but resistance in both arms. Uphold for 20. There's one. Remember, little movements. There's 10. There's 20, you take your right arm, still L-shaped, uphold for 20. Left arm is just staying still. There's 10. Twenty, right arm goes back, uphold for 20. Tightness in those arms, really. Put resistance, there's 10.
and 20. Left arm comes forward for 20 more. There's 10. Wow, really feeling the burn in the shoulders. And 20, up hold for 20 with both arms. Oh, 10, 10 more, stay with it. And rest, good work. Stretch those arms, shake those arms out. Beautiful, back of the shoulders, heel toe, your feet are gonna be hip width apart, knees and hips and toes facing you. You're gonna raise the weights up, thumbs are down, bend elbows up, hold for 30, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Starting now, one. Really feel this in your traps, your upper back, back of the shoulder. There's 12. Twenty. Thirty. Bring your arms down. Feet are hip width apart. Show uh, palms facing up towards your ceiling. Tight arms. Neutral neck. Put resistance, like I said, into the arms. Uphold for forty. One. Core is engaged. There's 10. Twenty. Thirty tight arms. There's 40, bring your arms down, shake them out. Thumbs are gonna be facing, now you're ground. Slight bend in the elbow, come back with tight arms for 30, so it's one. Ten. Twenty tight arms, feel the burn. And thirty. Bring your arms down. Really going to go wide with our feet. Go as deep as you feel comfortable. Bend the knees a ton. Shoulder blades squeezing to breath together. On the up of the exercise. So you're getting your upper back and your biceps. From here, we're going to do thirty. So it's one. Staying in, tuck. Remember, tuck is heavy, tailbone. There's 10. 20. 30, you're gonna releve right foot if you choose to, which means point from here. Palms are facing down. Slight bend in both elbows, up hold for 20. There's one. Little lift on the arms as your lower body comes up. There's 10. 20, relevate left. You're gonna do the same thing for 20. Uphold. Staying in that tuck. There's 10. 20. Slowly bring the arms down. Heel toe, heel toe. You're gonna put your weights down. We're gonna pick our weights back up when we go down onto the mat. We're gonna work on sculpting our inner thighs, our outer thighs, our glutes, um, hamstrings, quads, full body experience on the lower body using something as your guide. Like I said, I have my stool. 
We're gonna start in releve, both feet in point. Get down into your tuck, core is tight. Let's have our left hand, our left fist, our left hand in a fist, tight arms, and we're gonna go up hold for 20. There's one. There's 10. Little movements, pausing oh so slightly on the up. Drop down about two inches, 20 more. There's 10. And 20. Now, we've got to give our right arm some loving. We're going to do two 20 rep rounds. Go down two inches deeper, up hold. Tight right, pick a fist with your right hand. There's 10. Staying in the tuck. And 20, drop down two more inches, 20 more. If you're not shaking, you're not shaping. Whew. Feeling the shake, feeling the burn. I'm not gonna give up. We can do hard workouts. There's 10. And heels down. Nice work, everyone. Okay, quads. Right foot's gonna be on the mat. We're gonna start with hip points are square. Left foot is in point and it's very tight. Slight bend in the right knee, get in your tuck. Up hold, 420, there's one. Really put resistance into the left quad, there's 10. And 20, you're gonna go up two inches, 20 more. There's 10. And 20, up two more inches, 20 more. Tight left quad. There's 10. You're gonna bend your left knee. You're still in point on your left toe. Up hold. Your quad is parallel to your ceiling. Up hold for 30. There's one. Little movements. It's literally less than an inch on the lift. There's 10. Feel it way up in here into your hip flexor a little bit. There's 20. And slowly bring your left leg down, same thing. We're gonna switch over now to standing on our left foot. Hip points are still square. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the right side now. Up hold for 20. Remember to stay in your tuck. There's one. Ten. And twenty up two inches. There's ten. Twenty up two inches. Do your best to control your right leg. Keep it tight. There's 10. And 20 now, we're gonna bend the right knee. Remember, quad is parallel to our, ce to our ceilings. Right foot's in point for 30. One. Ten. Twenty. 
20. And 30, slowly bring your right leg down. Nice work, everyone. Now we're gonna work our outer left hip. Right foot is down into your mat, slight bend. Do your best to not lean in to whatever you are working on. Okay, this is just a guide. Our body line, do your best to keep it straight. Core tight, left hand on your hip. You're gonna get in your tuck. So start with left leg has a bend and you are in flex. Lifting out to your left side for 20. One. Gets it all on the outer left hip into your left glute. You're going to go in point now. Still keep that left knee bent for 20 more. There's 10. Straighten the left knee up, hold with flex foot for 20. There's one. Really feel the supporting right quad also. Gonna go into point, 20 more, straight left leg. And slowly bring the leg down. I almost felt it more on my right, my supporting leg than I did the leg that was lifting. I felt it there too. But that's what's great about bar work. You feel it in both sides, just differently. Left foot on the mat. Remember, don't spill over to the left. Do your best. You're in um, flex foot. Bent right knee up. Hold for 20. Ten. Twenty point. Ten. Straight leg flex for twenty. Stay with it. Come on, we can do hard things. There's ten. Twenty. What a point. Twenty more. Come on. There's 10. And 20. Wow, let's give ourselves a stretch. So top of the right um, ankle, let's hold it with our right hand for a 10 second stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Have your toes a little bit spilling off of your mat. We are going to be in releve, facing whatever we're using as our guide. You're going to bend the knees generously, shoulders and chest back and up, uphold here, really get into a strong tuck. From here, we're gonna do 40. So it's one, I'm gonna say every 10, I'm gonna shout out the number. Really slow, really little and controlled. There's 10. Twenty. Giving yourself a little bit of a pause on the lift. I mean, it's a slight pause. Thirty. 10. with bent knees. You're going to drop your heels down. Your knees are both still bent. Releve up for 12. That's one. Staying in tuck. Two. 
three, giving yourself about a second pause on the releve. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Heel, toe, you're gonna actually go toe to heel. So now you're hip width apart, still facing whatever you're working on. Releve, we're gonna burn out our quads here. You're gonna get in your tuck. Quad, hip points are facing your bar, your stool, your chair, your counter, your couch, whatever you're working on. Bent knees generously, uphold here for 30. So it's one, two. Really pause on the lift for count three. Really get in that tuck. There's 10. Twenty. Thirty. Go to the depth of the movement. We're going to go out with our knees, double knees for twenty. Staying in tuck. One, two, three. Staying in releve. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One more and heels down to the mat. Nice work, everyone. We're going to focus on hamstrings. Right foot down on the mat first. Hip points are facing the, my stool. My arms are gonna be long, my core is engaged, my neck is neutral. Hip point, left hip point is going to be facing down on my mat, I'm not gonna open it up. So foot's in point, focusing on my left glute and hamstring, lifting up for 20, pausing on the lift, there's one. There's 10, really little and slow. There's 20, you're gonna make clockwise circles, doing your best to not drop your leg. Keeping the left hip point square to the mat, switch direction, counterclockwise. Flex your foot, up hold for 20. There's 10. And 20. Wow, hard, hard stuff, but man, good results at the end of the day end of the week, end of everything, just really focusing and tuning those, font, those little muscle groups that really get neglected in other workouts, I feel. Okay, left foot on the mat. You're gonna start with hip, your right hip is square, remember, in point, up hold for 20. Keeping the right leg very tight. There's 10, core is tight, 20, clockwise circles. Remember, do your best to keep that leg up and not let it dip down. Switch direction. The circles are like the size of a ten, like you're sketching a tennis ball. So it's pretty little. Flex your foot up for 20. Ten. 
10. And 20. Oh, yikes. We're gonna work a little inner thigh and hip flexor, and then we're gonna go onto our mat. Right foot on the mat. We're gonna open up the left hip, really bend also the left knee. Up hold here for 30. So do your best to get your leg up pretty high. The higher you get it, the more you really feel it in your hip flexor. For 30, get in your tuck. One. There's 10. Twenty. And 30, flex your foot, bring down your leg and open up the bend in your knee a little bit, up hold for 30. There's 10. Twenty. And thirty. Supporting leg glute. You should have felt it in there too. Other side. So you're gonna get that leg up, open up the right hip, hip crease. You're gonna be in point first for thirty. Really bend the right knee. Open up the right hip one. There's 10. Really engage in your core, 20. There's 30, drop your leg down, flex your foot, so you're really gonna feel it spread into your, really, your inner, inner right thigh for 31. When the leg's up higher, you should really feel it more in your hip flexor. I feel it in my right hip flexor here, but it spreads down and more into my inner thigh. This actually having the leg lower is more challenging for me. Really be able to continue to control that leg. 20, there's gotta get 10 more in one. And 30, nice work. Okay, we're gonna lay on our mats. Grab your weights. And once again, like I always say, actually a lot of the time I say, you don't even need weights. You can just flex your arms, tighten them up. I just actually got these weights. I, this is one of my favorite colors. Actually, I like a ballerina pink, so it's a little darker, but I'm like, <gasps> Gotta love, and each one of these are three pounds, like I said, it was like $6, so the set was 12 bucks. Can't beat it. Okay, feet on the, actually act, pretend there's glue on the bottom of your feet. You're really pushing them evenly into your mat. Okay, arms are long. Chin to chest, but not totally chin to chest. So maybe like an inch from chin to chest, okay? Core is tight. You're rocking up an inch, down an inch. Engaging in the core, there's tightness into both of my arms, meaning flex. From here, 30. One. Engaging in the core, upper, middle, and lower abs, 10. Twenty. Breathe through it. And thirty. Nice work. We're gonna lay on our backs. Girls, if you have a ponytail, move it so you're not letting it dig into the back of your head. There's nothing that hurts worse. Arms are going to be above your head and tight. Right leg is in point, left knee is bent. On this move, you're going to raise up your right leg, 
right here. So there's still an angle and you're gonna be up hold. So my palms are directing towards my right quad. I have a little momentum, a little bit of a rocking motion. You might not be able to see it on the video with I'm getting my um, tailbone off of the mat. It's a little, little movement from here. 20, one, two, really feel this in the lower abs, 10. Twenty, other side, bending right knee, left leg is angled, it's not straight up to the ceiling. All right, same thing, a little rocking motion from here, 20, there's one. Ten, pushing the spine into the mat. and 20. Both feet are gonna be close to your bum, pushing them into your mat. We're gonna do some isometric chest flies. So slight bend in both elbows. Get those elbows up off of the mat about six inches, pushing the spine into the mat. So actually have your tailbone lifted up off of the mat. From here, really put resistance into both arms. Up holds here for 30, one. Like you're literally Getting right, you're hugging a stability ball. That's kind of like what I'm envisioning here. Because if I had a stability ball, it would, my circle would be about as wide as how, how I have my arms right now. There's 10. Really sculpting the area, girls, of when we wear you know, our sleeveless, strapless dresses, this area right up here, it really fine tunes that area. Really focus on that area as you pulse your palms towards each other. There's 20. And 30, beautiful work. Okay, right, left hand behind your head. This move, we're gonna do a one arm um, show, uh, chest press. So it's gonna look like this. We're raising our right elbow an inch as we're crunching up, pushing the spine into the mat for 20. So it's one. There's five. Remember, isometrics. Do your best to get, keep your shoulder blades off of the mat. There's 10. Fifteen. That was twenty. Other side. Shoulder blades off of the mat. Same thing for twenty. There's one. There's ten. and 20. Very interesting to do a crunch as you're also working your chest, bicep. It was a really cool feeling. Okay, so you're gonna lay on to your right side. Put your right hand behind your head. Hello world. Both legs are very tight. If you notice my left fingertips are going to be pushing into the, my mat for balance. Do your best. I challenge you to keep the right leg off of the mat. Okay, so you're gonna take your top leg, which is left, open up about six inches from here, up hold. Core is tight, really tight legs. From here, we're gonna do 31. There's 20, focal point. If you do have your right leg lifted off the mat, this is a lot of balance work. Challenge yourself, 20. Left leg, bend the left knee, flex the left foot, uphold now for 31. So you're 
Left leg is like an L. This is even more challenging for your balance. Core tight. One. There's 10. Really have to focus on this move. Twenty. And thirty. Wow. Okay, other side. Left hand behind your head. Now be on your right fingertips. Do your best to get both legs off of the mat. Open up six inches. You're in point first for thirty. One. Also, remember the right leg, you're not just lifting, you're tightening it as you lift. There's 15, 20, 25. Bend the right knee, flex the right foot, L-shaped leg for 30 lifts, one. Really can feel this in your right obliques, tightening the core. 10. 20. 25. 30. We're gonna switch over to our right side. One of my favorite all-time isometric oblique moves. Feet are together, you're in point. Left hand behind your head. You're gonna stay on your right elbow, sitting upright. From here, bend both knees, flexibility move also. Left elbow, you're gonna do your best to hit it onto your left knee. Okay, we're gonna stay very tight and isolated for 40. Ready? Engage in the core the entire time too. One. Ten. Tighten it up. Midsection, please. Twenty. Totally isolates the left oblique. Thirty. Forty. You should have felt every single one right over here on the left side of your body. Also, when you are doing the isometric crunch, do a little bit of a, um, almost like you're making like a rainbow. I mean, it's also so like you're turning into it. So it's a, an angled crunch, if that makes sense. You gotta find that, that sweet spot. Okay, same thing, right hand behind the head. And tighten up the midsection. Ready for 40, one. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. And forty. Good stuff. Push ups. Can't neglect the chest. Really. Okay, we're gonna do isometrics. I'm gonna to choose to do mine on my knees. You can do them in plank if you want to. Feet together, your feet are in point. Let's do a tricep push-up. So our elbows are gonna be close to our side. We're gonna drop down an inch and pulse and um, down for 30. One. Elbows are close by your side. 10. Twenty. Thirty. Walk your hands out wide. We're going to go down about six inches and isolate elbow out push-ups for thirty. And go. One. Ten.
Oh, 20. Feel the burn. Go stay deep, please. Do your best. 30. Stretch back. Five second stretch. One, two, three, four, and five. I want to do one more move for our glutes. We're going to get in tabletop here. Right foot, top of right foot pushing down into, the, into our mats. Fingertips wide, shoulders directly in alignment with our wrists. We are going to keep our hip square, meaning right hip point facing down into our mat. Flexed left foot. Up hold here for 50. One. Focus on every single lift. Two. There's 10. Engage in that core. 20. Thirty. Forty. Come on, ten more. We can do it. Fifty. Slowly bring the left leg down. Same thing, other side. Make sure that right hip point is square. Lifting up for fifty. Flexed foot. One. Also pushing the top of the left foot down into the mat. 10. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Ten more. Come on, we can do it. Slowly bring the right leg down. Let's do a downward dog. We're going to pedal it out, pushing both of our hands evenly into our mat. Nice work, every everyone. 43 minutes of full body bar. I loved every second of it, and I hope you did too. Please comment below. I love your feedback. Remember, the light starts within. If you're shining within, not yourself, number one, you will make a difference also within the world. Also, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or click on the little notification bell and I will see you all soon. Any requests for any videos also, or workouts I mean, let me know and I will do my best to deliver. I'll see you soon, bye-bye.